Hello kings and countrymen, this is Fallen from OTB, here with another showcase this afternoon. Uh, we had us a nice little fun war against the Golden Gophers. As you can guess, it is a Minnesota represent team, and uh, we got a nice solid group of Minnesotans here in our our clan here as well. So, uh, but we took this one personal uh, as we were going. We just kind of noticed it was a kind of a two-star war with some pretty decent TH10s. They did have like uh, four of them to our two. Uh, anyways, a couple good attacks from them. But we are going to walk away with this one. We've got some, some backup cleanup here just in case we actually uh, need to really uh, push it in here. Uh, anyways, we're going to get started. We're going to try to make this a shorter one here today. Old Shuma's attack right here on this uh, seemingly maxed out TH8. And uh, as everything moves forward here, he's going to trigger that bomb up top right there. That's beautiful. CC pull at the same time. Uh, he might have tried to get on the other side of that Tesla there to bust up a nice another bomb potentially that's going on up there. Uh, anyways, he was uh, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty easy to get the pull on these TH8s, but uh, it, it's what you got to expect with that. Um, he's gonna save that poison, I believe, for whatever skeleton traps could be on the base, as he's gonna send in that king to tank a little background layer there of uh, archers and then a couple wizards. Couple wizards to do the bidding, and um, there we go. Is this uh, dragon's finally going to be ripped apart? And uh, he's going to move on here. He's going to get the hog, the hog action rolling here as we speak. Uh, nice little solid uh, sort of a surgical or tactical hog. As a few do go on vacation there temporarily, he's going to start him up top. He's going to get him in on the sides as everything else is tanking as well. Uh, he might as well be optimal uh, when keeping your hog's health up. Um, up top there, he's gonna, he thins out just a tiny bit, lost a couple up top, his other ones go around here. King is gonna be on a few as well, but he's got a commanding group here, uh, heading into this final. Um, did kind of, uh, he, he wanted to make up for that heal spell right there, as, uh, um, he needed to get the benefit off of it. And of course there was another bomb there up top, and, uh, just a really well done attack. I mean, sometimes you, uh, I even find this too when hitting some, uh, higher TH9s. Uh, attacks don't have to necessarily be spot on. Uh, if you're bringing the right comp, that is always what we talk about. Um, you know, he, he thinned out a little bit there too, but um, it was an overwhelming strat to take out that base. So, um, awesome job there, Shuma. We look forward to getting some future vids here out of you. And uh, we're going to move on to 23, good old Rossi. Uh, hit by Blackbeard. Blackbeard had an awesome war right here. Uh, congratulations for the golden banana, as we call it, or the six-star woe veteran. Uh, really, really good job there. He's going to pull the uh, bombs. And uh, how about that there? Uh, bombs outside the base. Always a uh, kind of a mystery. You never know what you're going to get there. As traps are just exploding all around the outside. Um, he does have the pull. He's got plenty of space to pull. And uh, he will do that ever so gently. As the barb on the outside is just kind of looking to uh, to swing away. He does not like that builder's hut one little bit. Um, little baby barb moving forward. we got a giant there also following up. Um, looking to just kind of do some tanking work. As uh, here comes all the other things. He's going to really rage this bad boy here. And just secure um, an interesting choice here. Uh, but who's to say it's bad if it works? Um, he's got everything kind of raged up going in here, and I really like getting the king in. Uh, my favorite part was he used the king just like he would uh, kind of a golem. Uh, he's up there tanking and doing all that tank work uh, for not too many structures as the hogs are being surgically deployed here. On the right side, going counterclockwise, um, just hitting every little defensive structure when he can around the outside. Skipped over that, uh, that cannon right there, which that's okay. It can be revisited. Uh, he's got just a solid heals up right now, and the health of the kill squad and the hogs right here are just going to show uh, that uh, you know, even though the heals are done and gone, um, there's still going to be plenty of opportunities to do the damage and tank a little bit and uh, clean up as well is going to be just super easy as things go here, as they all progress. And uh, so here we go. We got the kill squad taking out all the good things in the middle. Uh, Hogs are finally about to finish up that left behind cannon, and we've got a fast forward moment right here, everybody. 
And uh, just another super nice attack. TH8s uh, can get it done. Uh, Hog seems to be the most effective. Uh, maybe not always, but uh, um, almost always, <laughs> we can say. So we're going to jump up to 18 as we get into our uh, TH9. Something told me... Okay. Oh, was this was this the one? Oh yeah, I've got to do this. This was not in the plan, but I'm sorry I have to do this. Ricky's attack. Let's count all the bombs that go off here at the very beginning. He did trigger a trap there in the middle of the base, and then in the bottom right, right there. <laughs> Holy cow! That is some acrobatics coming in there. Um, the explosions. We got pyrotechnics. We got we got a little bit of everything going on right here, and. Um, I'm going to, I just, I really wanted to show that more importantly than anything else. We'll go in two times speed here as we get this thing going. Uh, two golems coming in on the flat wall, hitting it from the side. Going to go straight, straight forward right here. Uh, he's got enough good things to, uh, to really do some damage. That queen goes down. King is finally going to um, rage up and uh, take out his final last couple structures there. And it's just a hog moment right here, guys. A little surgical attempt. Uh, coming in strong on the right now that all those bombs have been triggered. Um, he's just going to follow up on the heels. He does have one more heal, which I imagine is going to go right over Expo. Yes. Yes, indeed. The king has been slowed. Awesome choice, too, with the poison to kill the skellies. And that king uh, will not catch up to your hogs if it is being slowed. Uh, so a great thing to think about right there. Finally, they chased down that king. They had a vengeance out for him. It's got to happen. Uh, the cleanup is real here. And things are just working their way around. Yeah, another annihilated base that, uh, um, you know, was was a little bit on the fresher side. But he uh, he brought the right comp once again to get it done. Uh, where are we at here? Number 18. We've got a solid uh, Mr. Shermanator uh, making his appearances here in uh, from video to video. And uh, it's because his attacks are just quite special. And uh, we definitely enjoy his uh, his fun attacks. He's the first guy who's going to end up getting um, those 95% pluses. Um, you know, it, oh, there's always one unlucky person in the clan who's going to pull that off more than the others. And this poor guy deserves... Um, <laughs> he deserves his three stars for war here. He does lose... Uh, does he lose the witch? No, he doesn't lose the witch here. Uh, good save, good save. Uh, Queen is in to do the work on the dragon. Everything's been pulled. Queen jumps the wall. She is now vulnerable. And uh, the king can also then come in here very shortly, but he wants to fix this pathing and get everything kind of set straight forward here. That jump goes up, but it is a deep jump, so he's really trying to do well. Um, he's really trying to path everything. Look at it's raining right there. Them skellies go flying. Uh, king's finally going to take advantage of this jump as queen just kind of runs around to the outside. I think she'd she would rather be on the outside, I guess, right now. Um, so anyways, everything's jumping into core. Queen's going around the uh, outside. Hogs are being deployed there at the bottom to bottom left. Now working their way around uh, very nice and slowly. The slow rolling hogs here. He's not getting out too far ahead of himself. Uh, there's no need to tank something for just a, uh, a few hogs, you know. Um, he just wants to keep them together and heal them all up. As he has one more heal in that obvious spot straight up ahead there. And uh, absolute annihilation here once again on uh, Shermanator. Really bringing the heat up on this base. And uh, Queen just really enjoyed the outside right there. That will happen. And uh, so many hogs are alive right now. Uh, a couple had to go on vacation. They were overstaffed. So uh, there it is, guys. It was a really nice attack there. The Pooh Man crew. Uh, where are we at here now? We're going to work it up to, uh, oh man, let's go up to seven. We're going to kind of shorten this here. Just two more attacks. Two more attacks to be had. And good old Sagris here making it happen on this base. Bringing that Govalo setup. Govalo. Um, <laughs> getting that easy CC pull there for the air at least. That's all that matters for him right now. And uh, he's going to start him here on the right side untouched. Uh, they'll move their way over. Queen is on the outside wall right there, so uh, might as well take advantage of these sorts of things. And uh, just a really good strong Govalo attack is, uh, you know, when you see these defenses, a nice wide open core. Um, you see the de defenses pretty close together. Uh, air defenses as well, if you're going to use that back end option, um, you know, in the air. 
And um, he's going to start those golems nice and slow right here. King's going to take down the queen, make short work of her. Um, so she's down. Witches are down moving forward. Queen is just kind of clearing the space right here. And uh, there's that jump. And uh, the anticipated jump is he's filtered all of the Velks forward here, straight ahead. And uh, they're going to they're gonna crush this thing. Um, they, they do start a little bit slow, it happens. But as soon as they jump into this core right here, that's when we're talking about... Uh, the the absolute devastation of this base. He's going to get that early heal up. Might as well, oh, it's happened again. Might as well uh, get everything going here, moving forward. The Velks have moved forward, um, looking very, very healthy. And uh, they just <laughs> brutalized this core right here. Um, the royalties around the outside, or the, the king is at least. And uh, Queen's still with an ability, taking out those outside buildings. And you can already tell what's going to happen. He does lose a Velk to Spring Traps. You don't see that often, but then again, they are vulnerable. So, you know, oh well. And the final backup uh, kind of cleanup here attempt. Uh, just setting in that nice solid group of loons. He knows everywhere else is going to be fine. Uh, as long as he can get this little, little wall down. And it is definitely happening right here. Uh, Sagres brings this thing home. Uh, really, really nice attack. I love the Velks. Um, so underused, very underused. And uh, here's the uh, the backup, the loons here cleaning up this base. King is just barely hanging on there. Um, I, I just found some, you know, it was a good watch here. This was a good watch. Um, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Let's uh, let's do the last attack. Um, holy cow! Oh, Mike swinging. That's cool though. That is cool. Um, we'll do the last one, uh, another Govalo here, uh, the, go the or sorry, this is a Golo Wee Wee, I, I don't even know what I'm talking about, guys. Um, here we go, let's get this thing rocking. So I wanted to go with the three Golem right here, and, uh, and I knew either, if, if they did go to the inside with a jump and the breakers, if the breakers actually worked to bring them inside, uh, then I knew um, I, I'd be 100% set up. And then I thought, what if they do go around the outside? So I did try and clear these couple structures here up top, uh, being tanked by the golem. I wanted to see if they could move forward, but um, maybe just not quick enough to, to make things work. The king does go up. It's it's kind of like a, it's a cluster right now. Um, so I want to bring in the queen light just in case here. Um, changing the attack right now. Th this whole attack is being changed. I do bring in the witches, and um, things just seem to go wrong at certain points of this attack. Uh, like, all the all the witches going bottom is a super scary thing to have. Um, nothing's really getting benefit of that rage, unfortunately. Uh, not until, you know, it's kind of too late. Uh, but, so, so I'm changing things as we go. The, the As the witches are tanking bottom, um, just trying to call in loons early as possible there. I do not want to jeopardize um, too many witches dying, and a couple already have. Uh, so the queen is mid, which is all that matters at this point, is the queen pops the rage up top there. Uh, everything's just working across the top. I didn't want to kill too many things up there, so I did call in more loons, because I just, I just wanted to be safe about it, I suppose. And um, they're going to go down, but here comes the final stretch here on bottom, and that air D goes down just in time. Yes, so the, uh, okay, boom, we're losing a couple more, <laughs> couple more balloons, but um, with the queen in the middle and everything's looking fine with her, uh, it just kind of turns out to be, um, everything just kind of slowly, equally works itself out there, and uh, I just, I love to be able to, uh, to change an attack just in case, I mean, plan B is everything sometimes. Um, and you, you try and apply that knowledge to, to every kind of strategy game that you play. Uh, you know, you, sometimes plan A is just not going to work out, and, uh, and it comes down to uh, being able to switch the plan up accordingly to what you're seeing right there on the screen. And, um, and this time it happened. So, uh, so that was a fun attack. This was a fun war, definitely. Uh, we, did a, we did a pretty dang good job. And um, trying out a lot of stuff too, you know, and just kind of swing a little willy nilly on this one. It seemed like we, you know, we did put forth the effort and everything like that, but uh, um, we didn't really feel too much of a threat throughout the time. Uh, so we were just kind of having fun with this one, guys. Anyways, it's been long enough. I have antagonized everyone here with these long videos, and let me just back out while I'm ahead. Um, this is Fallen from OTB, signing off.